guys. Namaste. So I just wanted to check in, see how everybody was doing after this crazy week and that intense eclipse yesterday. Um, the eclipse that was so long was symbolizing the tunnel of the dark night of the soul, of really going through from the light down into the darkness to really take that deep dive into ourselves of what needed to be rid of. The toxins even physically came out, the emotions came out, um, if there were tears then that was also meant to come out and all of this is to rid ourselves of dark matter, of dark energies and um, throughout the eclipse was this big teaching moment of learning how to transmute which is what is naturally occurring in the, in the eclipse um, with the magnetic pull as the earth sat between the moon and the sun and blocked out the sun's light from the moon so the moon had time to replenish and regenerate herself and we might be wanting to spend that time within ourselves um, especially over the weekend I know I do, I had a crazy busy week and I'm really needing to just stick to myself. And so if you do too, then that's okay because it's part of the process of cleansing and purging. Um, try to just do some self-care. We're going to do a bit of exercises today and really just get again into your heart center and learn to love the parts of yourself that you've hated before or kept hidden in the dark. Let them rise up to the surface. Everything is rising up to the surface to be illuminated. Um, and because the earth is sitting between the sun and the moon, it's having that big effect on us of really balancing our dark and our light. Our, our Even really what it would be is our masculine and our feminine sides really coming together in a balanced way so that we do what we have to do in our lives. We get things done. Sometimes women need to have a bit harder edge, a more masculine side to them. And sometimes men need to soften and find their feminine side to really make that balance happen. But in that true balance within, we then illuminate. We come to homeostasis in our system. And through each chakra coming into balance, we illuminate our sixth our sixth sense, our third eye, which comes into full illumination. Um, and that's the light within us that we see, and that's the light of health. When we are zero to seven years old, this third eye is the pineal gland inside our brain is really working hard to distribute all the hormones that we need to constantly be regenerating. But it weakens over time. It actually calcifies with the things that we eat. Um, and it's responsible for our intuition and our psychic abilities and our link to the other side, which children have up until the age of seven, where they are completely regenerative and very creative and very in tune with their spiritual side, which is just their higher self that lives within the cosmos. So as we try to regain our health and get back into balance, we're working on each chakra so that we can come up to our third eye and really have the balance there to illuminate that within us so that we can work that muscle, the pineal gland, it's like a muscle where we can retrain it to bring us back to health and have our hormones back into balance and have everything working in homeostasis, in balance. So the Dr. Bali session does put us back into homeostasis. Um, and this is the healthy state. The theta brainwave state is where we regenerate and where we find our health again. So as we're detoxing through this full moon, we're also now going to have our rebalancing session of Dr. Bali where we can really understand and get into tune with this third eye and our ability to stay in health, in light, and constantly be regenerating um, so that we can live to a nice, long, old age and in happiness and in health. 
because I know that when I was at my worst and not very healthy at all, actually my hair had stopped growing. Um, when I was in the United States, I was so stressed and using all of my brain power on finance <laughs> and responsibility, my hair stopped growing. And um, it's a big sign for me when I actually made the decision to quit real estate. Um, and some things that are bad for us are really hard to quit because of A, the amount of time we've invested in it. And often um, anyone that has suffered trauma or a difficult, some sort of difficult life believes that struggling is necessary for success or for love, but it's not. So erase those beliefs. Um, as we come out on the other side of this full moon, we're erasing all of our patterns old negative beliefs, things that kept us stuck from moving forward or feeling like we could really be our best selves. And we're really embracing the power that we have within us. So we make difficult choices, we face our fears, and we get back into health. Because when I was really unhealthy and my hair had stopped growing, I was also really my brain spinning constantly. Um, a little bit, I'd have to say delusionally because I was imagining scenarios that weren't happening. Um, and that isn't psychic ability, that isn't intuition. So as you get healthy, which is to me the symbol of my hair growing, and I just let it keep growing now, because even the Native Americans believe that our, spirit is an ex our hair is an extension of our spirit, so we let it flow. Um, but also, <clears throat> We just recognize that we can make those difficult decisions. We do have that power to get healthy and clear. And when we're clear-minded and listening quietly to our intuition, working on the pineal gland and getting it to function properly so that we regenerate in balance and in health, we can just come to a meditation and really know what's inside our soul. We know how to connect to our soul. Um, in that there's faith and then we co-create with spirit and we live our best lives and we believe that we can be in health. We create an image of ourselves in the future that we want to work towards and we strive to be our best selves because anything we set our minds to does happen. So set your mind to the best of your ability and you'll start to live to the best of your I'm not saying it's easy. I had a very difficult week because I decided to follow some inner nudgings that made me want to attempt um, a different sort of work. And it was facing a big fear, though I felt like it was a calling, something I've always meant to be doing um, as a healer and a massage therapist. But it's been difficult and definitely very draining on my body. So. Um, I'm understanding that I have to get stronger again to be able to continue to do everything that I want to do in this best life, right? So I'm going to encourage you to join me in doing some squats because if you don't have time for a big workout, even just doing some squats and some push-ups will make you strong enough to really get healthy and feel like you can accomplish everything that you have to do in your day. So, we're going to stand up, and I'm not saying that I've done squats in a very long time, so this is motivating me. And we're going to just see how many we can do. Okay, so we'll go hands to heart and just appreciate ourselves. And we'll have our legs hip width apart, and drop your bum down as far as you can. Okay, and up. And try to keep your back as straight as possible as you go down with your bum as far down as you can. That's five. And six. My knee's cracking. My youngest son told me the other day that he did 72. Oh, I've lost count already. I think I'm at 10. Okay, I'm only shooting for 20. Okay, so let's see if we can do 20. That's 12. Just trying to see if my back is straight. <laughs> 16. 
17. 18. 19. And 20. Okay, rolling up. Good job. Just gonna keep us loose in the hips. All right, now just come down. We'll see how many push ups we can do. <laughs> Remembering to breathe. Okay, we're gonna go up into plank. Let's see, maybe 10. Four. That's nine <laughs> and ten. All right, let's go up into a downward dog and just stretch it out. Don't dead. We're just getting going. <laughs> so starting to do that every day. Every day we add one extra. All right. And it really does matter to our body because our muscles learn how to get stronger and try to make sure you're eating protein at the same time because it helps the muscles grow. And our physical strength does help our mental fortitude and our balance. So now we're going to do a song, the Dr. Bali to a song. Um, obviously somebody that I love that's been a big influence in my life and always gotten me through some hard times. Times of change are never easy, but we have to learn to lean into the change and embrace it for what it has to teach us because everything is a living, learning experience. As we live, we learn, hopefully, and we improve. We don't just stay stuck or lazy or willing to stay at one level. Life is about constantly leveling up and being the best version we can be. So we have to learn our lessons that get us there, right? So, obviously, this is <coughs> Live and Learn from Alanis. My computer lost the page, so we'll just give it a minute. I've been using my very old computer for this. <clears throat> and uh, for some reason right now, it's really not wanting me to cooperate. So bear with me one second. You could keep doing <laughs> Keep doing some push ups while you wait. <coughs> Actually, lunges are also a really good way. So, if you're walking, if you have a long hallway like I do, and you take a big lunge as you step, right? And keep lunging so that it also works the thighs. So we lie down and take a big stretch. Mute the ads. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay.
strong we are and so we're forced. <sighs> we have no choice to hold your strength here. Show yourself you can. Use that pineal gland, fuck yourself with all kinds of good hormones. Get into balance. Okay. <sighs> now we have to the service Oh, such a perspective. Learn our lesson. Put a smile on Grace. Oh. Mm -hmm. Activated everything in your body and now you're in balance. Open your heart and the link to your third eye and accept in your intuitions and your guidance. Have faith in yourself. The more that we live and learn and grow, the more confidence we get in ourselves and trust in ourselves um, to make the right decisions moving forward in clarity and in health and in balance. And if you need time to yourself to find that peace, then don't be afraid to ask for it. Even if you have a busy life or a busy family, take a few minutes to lie down and do some practice and bring yourself back into balance <clears throat> so that you can process things that you've gone through and you learn your lessons so you don't have to repeat them and that way you end the karma cycle and you start fresh at zero ready to begin again trying um, really we don't know how strong we are until we try and we can never stop trying so ultimately we can really gain even if it's negative we bring all that energy in we transmute it and we gain as much light and energy from any situation as possible and we um, then have the power and the faith to keep moving forward in joy and happiness and the more squats and push-ups you do the stronger you'll feel so we'll add that to our practice and we'll get strong and healthy Namaste. Love and light.